Tonight's top story, we're hearing from the family members of the victims of a violent car accident in Anderson County. Last Thursday, we told you about the accident. One man driving northbound in a southbound lane colliding with another car head on. That collision killed the driver and passenger of the car, Donna Morris and Caitlin Branham. Now, we're told 54-year-old Stephen Watts has been charged with two counts of vehicular homicide by recklessness and two counts of vehicular homicide by impairment. According to THP's preliminary report, Watts was driving north in the southbound lane near mile marker 128 when he collided with a Nissan head-on, again, killing both the driver and the passenger. As we mentioned, 25-year-old Caitlin Branham and 67-year-old Donna Morris. Now, today, the family of the victims are remembering the two women who they say loved above all else. WAT6 on your side, Kristen Goliath shares how they would like both Branham and Morris to be remembered. I swear to Don and I spoke to she said she loved me. You do that. So I swear to Kate said to you it. It was, yeah. David Hicks is the brother of Donna Morris. She's my favorite sister. <laughs> Donna was like a mom to Jordan Brenham. She was my mother-in-law. Uh, I've known her for about 10 years. Uh, she was a Sunday school teacher at the church. The kids loved her. She was good with the kids. And uh, uh, they don't know what they're going to do with that, or they call her the child whisperer. Donna and Caitlin Brenham were out shopping Thursday when their lives were taken away by a wrong way driver. It's been miserable. Um, the worst, worst parts in the morning, waking up and, uh, I mean, just realizing it's true, you know, I, I don't want it to be true. I spoke to her at 9.30 that morning, and uh, we were talking about going to Pigeon Forge for the weekend. Caitlin's husband, Jordan Brenham, says they were high school sweethearts. She was a grade behind me, and we went to two proms together. We, we went to the beach every year, well, the past three years. We went to Pigeon Forge last weekend. We all the time doing stuff together. He'll miss their vacations and weekend getaways, but mostly he'll miss her heart. And she loved me. She was so good to me. And and that's that's what I want her to be remembered for. He said both Caitlin and Donna made an impact on their community. Donna loved her kids at the church and she loved everybody. And uh, Caitlin loved all of her clients. I want everybody to know that, uh, you know, if you were a client of hers, she loved you. And she talked about every one of you. And the both of them will be missed. A lot of people say that they, you know, they have great family members, loved ones that they've lost, but it's true about them. It really is. In La Follette, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. According to the families, the funeral for both Branham and Morris will be tomorrow at Fincastle Church of God in La Follette. Now, the receiving of friends will be from 4 to 7, and then the funeral will follow that.